turned down, saw a very nice coral trout at about 20 meters. The rocks shot him. Oh, just then, the, my tick of the GT swims past to come and have a look at what all the commotion is about. I'm busy swimming back to the surface, so I missed the fish I was looking for. pointing out a species Chris had been looking for. But unfortunately, the purple grouper was not hanging around. I knew my spear was bent. Yeah, I swam down into a nice crack. I saw a couple of coral trout. I'd really shot a couple, so I just left them alone. Been down a long time, more over one minute 30 on the bottom. So I decided to go back up. As I was swimming up, I saw a GT. I knew my spear was bent from earlier. Should have changed it. And I shot and the spear somehow dropped below the fish. Yeah, got it. Anyway. You want me to lie to you and say it was 20 or do you want me to be honest and say I think it was a tick? I think it was, he thought it was maybe a tick. Yep. With a helpful remark from Barrett the cameraman, it was off to the well, named so because of its amphitheater-like shape. With a depth of 40 to 50 meters, the well is a massive bait ball of fish and a magnet for pelagic fish on the hunt. With the help of a flasher and some chum, the team hope to create a little frenzy to raise some of the huge GTs that are found in this spot. Obviously, with blood in the water, sharks are always going to come looking for a free meal. Jamie, the resident shark wrangler, trying to keep our bonito away from the seemingly timid black tip. Second dive down, big shoal of Wrangler runners. Heard Barrett grunting, which always means he spotted something <laughs> on the camera. I turned, there was a nice big uh, Spanish mackerel, or we call it a cuta. Yeah, I got a spear into it. It's done a little bit high. I'm a bit worried this double roller is sitting high. I might shoot a smaller fish just to check it. I don't want to mess up again, but we did land the fish. Jamie did the kill shot for me. Yeah, awesome fish. <laughs> I don't know how size it is, we're going to it now. With two solid Spanish mackerel on board, the team spotted some wahoos swimming nearby, and Jamie was soon shouting for the boat. Hello. Wahoo is one of the fastest fish in the sea, this one making a point of dragging Jamie's boy out to the blue.
weighing in at a solid 23 kilograms, this fish was unfortunately a few kilos shy of the 30 kilo mark. Yeah, that was a good drift. You put us on lots of rosy job fish there as well. Yeah, they were rosy, beautiful. And where's the rosy yeah. job fish? What's wrong with you? Yeah, it was I've beautiful shot one before. He used to shoot it. He went down and shot the wahoo when he was trying to shoot the rosy. What the I'll hell's wrong the with you? Until I get a tick now. You have to learn what's more important in this part of the world. Rosy job fish is more important than wahoo. <laughs> the team had clearly forgotten about the ticks, as they then basted poor Jamie for letting the rosy job fish go in place of a wahoo. With that in mind, Chris could not let a rosy swim by without bringing it in for the dinner table. Rosy job fish. <laughs> We're down at about 20 meters looking at some rosy job fish. Turned around to go back to the surface and some sort of grouper, I, I would guess it's a potato bass or something, bit my foot, swam up and attacked my foot. Yeah. Went down after Chris's golden trevally. And then they came after the chub line. Managed to get a quick shot in. Not the best shot. But hopefully we'll get a second shot into the fish and manage to land it, eh? Give me a nice pull. Yeah, pull, pull, pull. He shot a nice big GT. We don't know what size it is now. Um, he's putting his bungee through the clip on the bottom of the float, pulling it up to keep the tension on all the time. And it also lets you rest for a bit without losing that distance that you've just pulled up. Thanks, Chris. Woo! I think I might be a ticker. Eh? I think so. Now it's a tick. Brilliant, eh? Woo! <laughs> well then, Jamie. I can't see you, Jamie. You can put your head up. <laughs> the beast, then. Spear junkie Jamie Bratsky was on board with his first tick, a GT of 25.6 kilograms. Finally, Chris had a GT on the chum line, and hopefully the tick he'd been looking for. on the well. You know, it's pulling really hard. It's taking me quite a while to get his line back. Don't know what size he is yet. I'm just really hoping it's a tick. Hopefully it's a tick. Um, yeah, let's see when we get on the boat. I'm praying this thing's heavier than it looks, <laughs> but I don't think so. No, you also have beast. Let's hey, have a look. Let's look. Show me the fish, show me the fish. This is where we need a seller's scale. It's not to be. The tick for a GT is 25. I was really hoping that one was over 20, but it was over 25, but it was just over 20. Anyway, 
Beautiful fish, really good fight. We keep trying.